Let's get going. Gotta figure out where I am. In fact, let's look at uh, let's look at the map. I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck is he doing way down there? I guess at some point this whole thing is going to be your farm. So yeah. So we're gonna go. Whoops! Wrong button. Now I try as much as possible not to take out loans. Wish it was that easy in real life. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Actually, I just I'm gonna cut across this field. And in fact, while we're doing this, you know what? We're going to let the harvester get started. He will get full up. And I'll have to, you know, turn it off. But for now, I want to get this field harvested while we're waiting. So, maybe. You know, you know what? No. No. You know what? We're just going to do all this first. Because I'll need the trailer. So, I hate to do that, but. Now, one of the things that's pretty cool is the auto guys that, that, uh, that uh, as I drive like a maniac here. The um, the guys who drive automatically for you actually do a pretty decent job. Sometimes they get, if the field's not perfectly square, sometimes they'll get lost, but. All right, so we're gonna pick up this trailer here. All right, buddy, off to the dealership you go. The speeds are a little unrealistic. You don't. How often do you see a tar track moving this fast down the road? But for the sake of time, I'm going to keep it moving. All right. So I'm pulling in. And I'm going to back this trailer in. Now, unfortunately, that trailer is hard to back because it has like a two-piece hitch. So I have a hard time parking that one. But this one. Isn't too bad. I don't have to be real fancy about it because we're just selling it anyway. Alright, so. Dump that guy off. So anyway, I wanted to enable the development console because I wanted to be able to skip nighttime. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have a mod or something that does that because right now, if it, depending on when you plant, you almost always end up having to harvest in the middle of the night. So I think I'm going to have to start planting right before sunset so that they're not ready in the middle of the night because it's hard to to work in the middle of the night doing that kind of stuff. All right, so here's our little trailer. Actually, it's a fairly big trailer. And now that I think about it, even though I was upset that I bought this one, um, this one will fit every single thing that I have in stock right now. I'll be able to fill it all the way up. So I'm not. it's not a huge deal. I don't really need a bigger one until later. But you try to buy what's, you know... So off we go. Back to the farm. Time to sell all of the commodities that we own. All right, so to load up, we're gonna pull in here. This game is—it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So we're gonna pull underneath here, and when you get under there, on my little menu over there, R appeared. So we're gonna just—we're gonna dump everything. So here goes the wheat. And each load, you know, they run about twenty thousand, fifteen to twenty thousand, sometimes more. But you see, this trailer is big enough. It carries 21,000. So, uh, and then we can put the cover on to protect the goods. <laughs> you don't have to do that, but it's kind of fun. All right, so now we need to look at where we're going. So, we're carrying wheat. The diner's paying 1100 for it, 1160 1171 The train station right now is the highest payer. So let's look on the map. And we're going to go to the train station. So I'm going to go the opposite way and turn around. Go past the shop, make a right, and it's on the left. All right, so let's see if I can remember that. So the hope is when we're done doing this, I'll have enough money to buy both a bigger tractor and the... Um, the money to get the big sower. And then we'll, we'll really start getting going here. You can see here under 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 duress, this tractor is struggling with this big trailer. Going up a big hill here. Put our hazards on for safety. Oh, 
we will eventually need to buy a sprayer because the tractors get really, really dirty. And I like to keep my farm equipment clean. In fact, even with my actual real-life lawn tractor, <laughs> I'm pretty uh, picky about the the way it's kept. And I, I usually clean it off after every season it gets washed like a car at least twice. <laughs> it's crazy how dirty even lawn tractors get. So train station should be at the bottom of this hill. There it is. All right, so we'll start slowing down. All right, so pull up here. Oh, that's cool. The leaping deer over there. Leaping deer park. Now you're always going to want to come a little bit right of center because your tipper is going to tip um, over. So we're going to take the cover off and we're going to tip it. There we go. So see that was carrying just under $20,000. Looks like you can park stuff here. That's cool. The funny thing about this game is you could pretty much park anywhere you want. There's no penalty for doing that. Whoa! These are those parts of the video we call the dull, awkward silence part. I just enjoy the gameplay. My, my goal with these videos is to make it so that uh, you guys can have a, something that's family friendly and fun to watch. If you're at work or whatever and you're bored and looking for a series to watch, here it is. Easy to, easy on the ears, easy on the eyes. Something you can do work. You know, I, I'm a, a wedding photographer and uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with my channel and I like to watch people's videos while I edit photos and you know, to be honest with you, I like the ones that are like this, they're kind of low impact because I can concentrate on what I'm doing. I don't have to watch every second, but sometimes I just need a, my, an eye break or whatever. I'll lean over and watch what's going on in the video, and that's kind of what we're going for here. These are meant for relaxation and fun, but also so you can see how the game is played and want it for yourself. All right, so let's see what's next. Gotta love the leaf blower in the background. I guess that would be realistic farming. All right, so barley is next. Gonna fill up with barley. That green and yellow. Is that a tractor mater? Tractor. All right. So let's see where this load's gonna go. We got barley. So currently, let's see, twelve fifty-five, twelve twenty-nine. The flour mill is buying it for thirteen thirty-two, so that's where we're going to go. So let's take a look. Where's our flour mill? So I'm going to just cut across field number 11 there. It's right on the other side. Oh, I get myself in trouble here. Oh! Come on, tractor. There we go. Now, the only thing I don't like is you can't have your foot on the gas and set the cruise control at the same time, so you have to actually stop, well, or quickly set the cruise control, but a lot of times the tractor will just stop rolling and it won't take. That's my window. Yeah, there you go, cruise control at its best. Just walk away, do something else, let the tractor roll. That's a green truck. Yeah, green, green truck. Green truck. And yellow. Yellow and green. Okay. I'm not buying it. That is not an American train. What gives? <laughs> that is a European diesel. That's not American. No, no. Let's see. Can we cross the tracks here? It's not safe, probably. But we sure can. Look at the buffers. We don't have buffers in America. Come on. We'll forget it. 
they're using a lot of the same models. They just how it goes. All right. So our goal is two hundred thousand. We are already almost to that goal. That's great. So we'll be able to get a big tractor. No, you gotta stay here with me, Mater. We gotta get a, we gotta get a big tractor, and we gotta get uh, the big plow, and then then we'll have everything we need to to start going. But unfortunately, it's gonna be from that point forward, it's gonna be a slow go because now that I've sold everything, I can't really afford to buy a field. <laughs> so we've only got that one little field. <laughs> but it puts us in a good position for the future. And since we only have one field, we really only need one tractor at this point. There's my little farm. All right. Let's load her up. All right, so canola. Canola, this is the only really nice load that you get because the canola, from what I found, you have to, it takes twice as much to get the same amount of grain afterwards. And canola does not leave any hay bales, so you don't make any money there. However, there are times, and as you know, the game goes on, you can stock this stuff up and make a lot of money when people need canola, then all of a sudden it'll triple, and you're making like $6,000 per per uh, ton. So let's look right now. So this first load is going to be the most... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, It's going to be the most awesomest load ever. And then from that point forward, you really only get half of that return on your investment, minus the hay, because there's no hay. All right, so 2369, 2505 at the flour mill. That's probably going to be our high. Yeah, 2505. So we need to go to the flour mill. Wait, same place. Cool. All right. Duh, that's just where we went. All right, so off we go. Mater, you made cheese. You got cheese all over the floor, buddy. What's all that cheese on the floor? This is a nice big field. This is probably the first field I'll try to... Eh, maybe not. I'll try to try to go next to the ones that I already have. It's easier than just spraying and stuff. Huh. Which reminds me, we're going to need a sprayer. Eventually, we're going to need a wind rower and a hay baler. And a pickup tray. That's all in the future. But for right now, we're just going to just plant and probably lose out on the hay for a while. So maybe we'll just plant canola. All right, that's our goal right there. We're going to continue to sell all this stuff off, though. There's no reason to keep 